So the um, when when the color grading happens in the grading suite, um, the colorist adds uh, what we call metadata, which is a description of the image to uh, to basically help the TV display the colors like they see them see them in the in the grading room. So um, what Dolby Vision IQ does, it using the light sensors of the TV and using the information from the metadata, it actually knows how to compensate for the ambient light. So the colors maintain the color they they originally wanted to have, but maybe in a in a more luminous point because the room is brighter, it's not as dark as the green room where it was originally created. So if you have a window or you or you have you know bright lights in the room, it will compensate for that, but uh, you know staying true to the original colors that they saw in the grading suite. So it's not going to brighten the colors or the the white point to the extent that it's going to clip detail. Exactly, and and that's the challenge. That's why that's why this metadata becomes so useful because it's not just bringing up the light so it's everything is brighter. You know, some some points of the image may be dark, so you want to keep them dark, and and some certain colors you may need to actually upgrade the saturation on the color because of the high luminous to make sure you maintain that original color. And have you shown this to creatives? Have you actually sat directors down and said, "Look at this technology. This is what we're we're introducing." Well, as usual with Dolby, I mean that's where we usually start, and that's one of the key things that um, that they fed back to us. You know, the problem is we have this perfect uh, environment in the grading suite, but then you go to people's homes, and you know everything changes. So rather than have people fiddle with the controls and and create their own image, I think it's best that we actually enable them uh, to control how that image adjusts automatically. I, th I think it was an important point that you made there in your answer, which is that people living in living rooms and not grading suites, so this really is a solution for them to see it as it's intended to be seen. It's not going to go super bright, it's not going to blow the colours out or anything else, it's just going to raise the image quality to a level where, to the eye, perceptually, it's, it's correct. Yes, and that's and that's always the challenge, you know, how to maintain a promise with the creators that we will maintain their intent, but also adapt to all these, you know, different home environments. And and we're we're comfortable with now we found a good point of equilibrium where we're using the metadata we can actually control that process so that it remains true to the original intent. And uh, you know, these naysayers who are per perhaps saying, how can it possibly be the director's intent? You've actually got creatives telling you that's what they want. Exactly, and that's the challenge. That's the, always a difficult equilibrium when we have Adobe. You know, how do we actually, you know, bring together both points of view? And, uh, but I think this time we found, um, we found a good meeting point where basically we make it easier for the consumer. And actually there is a benefit to that because I think the, um, the metadata in the content is a better way to uh, to reach the final point than you know people randomly playing with a remote control.